Montana's general hunting season began this weekend, and for the next five weeks, it's deer and elk rifle season. At the game check station north of Bonner, lots of trucks and trailers pulled up after a weekend out in the woods. On the other side of the Blackfoot River, bighorn sheep are grazing. So we set up three lanes for traffic, two unsuccessful lanes, um, and generally we get more traffic in those. Many hunters go home empty handed, but some catch a lucky break filling tags like Ashley Trowbridge. Uh, I'm pretty happy because I haven't been hunting in like seven years because of school, so pretty stoked. <laughs> yeah, that's, are you with your dad? Yeah. Yeah? And yeah. He let you shoot the, he let yeah. you pull the trigger? Yeah. <laughs> Just behind the interview, Ashley's buck is being documented. It's age determined by cutting cheeks to view tooth wear patterns. This one's two and a half. I think we've had a half dozen elk so far. Uh, FWP wildlife biologist Scott you know, Eggman kind of said the check the stations <laughs> also had white tails and mule deer come through this weekend. Back in East Missoula, a house of hunters prepped for opening weekend. Yeah, I've never shot an elk, so hopefully this year it will happen. Um, but Megan Treese and roommate Madeline Damon mm -hmm. both grew up yeah, with the sport. I have been hunting since I was 12, about. And who taught you to hunt? My grandpa and my dad. Yep, I grew up hunting um, with my dad and my grandpa. Like every Thanksgiving, we would do a big hunting trip or I would go out on the weekend with my dad. And then I would look for It's obvious at this home, hunting is a way of life. We've always been in the mindset of like, we are doing this to fill our freezer. Um, that's kind of like the mindset I've had through this whole time too, is just like, Okay, we're doing this to fill our freezer. We're doing this for the memories and the process of knowing where our meat comes from. And so that's something that like really resonates with me. A tag board keeps track of the memories along with mounted animals Just having them here. and photos. Yeah, so this is a um, 6.5 Creedmoor, 6.5 rifle. This is the first season I've been hunting with this gun. And hunting preparation and packing just isn't rifles, complete without trusty canine companions like Smokey and Dixie. She started out hunting pheasant in Wisconsin and then she started hunting grouse with me. Dixie even joins in on big game hunts. She takes watching for animals very seriously. If she sees me staring with binoculars, she is absolutely still and just wants to look. After getting into the backcountry, checking in with game stations is mandatory, whether you get something or not. But testing for chronic wasting disease is optional. The main FWP office in Missoula can do that. And during the week, they can have their animals tested there. Many people use this time of year to find an animal that feeds their family for the long term. And for those people, let's hope this season is a success. In Bonner, Geneva Zoltek, MTN News.